We are here at Denver International Airport and I'm getting ready to head out for an appearance that I have at Muller Acura in Merrillville, Indiana. So I am excited to get going and what we're going to try to do with this is take you guys along for the ride and see what it's like for me uh, to have to travel, get on airplanes, that kind of stuff. So hopefully we'll have some fun and, and uh, it'll be pretty entertaining uh, for all of you uh, watching at home. Made it here to the uh, B concourse. You gotta kind of take a train and whatever, go through security. So all, the, all that went really smooth. I uh, was really happy actually, because normally I get stopped because I've always got food in my bag or something they don't like uh, in there. So, you know, it's it's always, uh, always typically I get stopped and they have to pull up the little swab and make sure all my food is okay and all that. But uh, today we got right through, so it's a good day. Good start to the trip. So while we're waiting for the flight here, uh, I want to share a couple travel tips, especially for big guys or for anybody that eats and brings their food with them uh, on their trips. Number one, wear a black shirt. So as you can see, I'm wearing a black shirt. Uh, number two, if you can, uh, wear something that's comfortable because the planes are typically hot. So if, if you uh, have something that's, that's kind of a, a, a lighter fabric, that is also a big help. So black shirt, lighter fabric. Number three, always wear shorts with boxer shorts, all right? So I've got shorts on, boxer shorts, which I'm not gonna show you right now. Uh, but the reason for that is airplane bathrooms are tiny, right? So if you can imagine me kind of shimmying into the back bathroom, how in the world uh, am I able to take a piss normally? I can't, right? So. There, what you need to be able to do is lift up your shorts, right? Grab your shorts, pull them to the side, you know, and uh, and handle taking a piss. Um, taking a shit on an airplane is out of the question, so if, if that has to happen, you need to do it in the airport. If you're big, that's just not possible. So we're not even gonna discuss that. But the boxer shorts with looser shorts, very, very good idea. If you have to cram yourself into the bathroom, uh, as I normally do on on flights that are about you know two to three hours because uh, I'm trying to stay hydrated and, and whatever so those are three tips I'm probably gonna come up with a few more as we go along but uh, those will get you started all right so getting ready to board here uh, unfortunately today the flight time and, and this flight going to Chicago uh, was really really full and there was no option to get in first class so unfortunately it's just economy plus today uh, which the seats you will see are not uh, very big, so it'll be very interesting getting into the seat as well as uh, seeing who uh, gets to be the lucky person that sits beside you. So let's go get the party started. Made it to Chicago here, uh, and I realized earlier when I was giving the uh, the travel tips, especially for bigger guys or people that eat uh, when they travel. I said about the black shirt, but I didn't I didn't say the reason for for uh, wearing the black shirt. The reason is if you eat and you happen to spill some food, it's not noticeable. You can just shake it off, wipe it off, whatever, and you're good to go. So that is the reason for the black shirt. We're in Chicago. Uh, this is a very unique walkway um, here. I've had to connect here so many times uh, over the years, and this is an interesting uh, walkway with the lights, so pretty cool. Um, but definitely excited to be here and um, ready to get uh, get rocking with the rest of the day now. Good. Awesome, man. You look good. Yeah. James, Glenn. nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Rock and roll. Ready? Yeah. Do we have to pick up luggage? Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So we 
are here at Muller Acura in Merrillville, and as part of the event tomorrow, I'm doing a strength demonstration, and, and the strength demonstration I'm going to do is an arm over arm pull uh, with Acura. So what we're what we got going here is you see the guys there with the rope, um, kind of setting this up. We're just kind of laying out the course, uh, checking out what we're going to do, how it's all going to go down. Um, and uh, making sure that the weight is going to work of these vehicles uh, overall because it's it's we're hoping to do four cars is, is uh, what what the plan is so we just kind of need to check about the grade of the ground and and uh, you know just kind of overall make sure it's going to work um, and that uh, that it's gonna look good and everything's gonna go over good tomorrow for the crowd So are, are they in neutral right now? They, oh, they all are. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna sit down and pull a little bit and see if this is gonna move. I was here last year, Brian. I was like, he's coming. Oh, not last year, but the last time he was here. I don't know who was last year. He was here last year and the year before. Okay, yeah, yeah. and it was a barbecue and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you uh, so you like much. Us, you're welcome. Congratulations on a new baby. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're we're excited for I sure. I stuck you and Carrie online oh, on that's awesome. Instagram and stuff I'll, like I'll that. I'll tell her for and sure. And she's a wonderful, beautiful mother. Too. Oh, I love thank her you. and adore her. That means oh a God. lot. Thank you so thank much. Thank you guys so yeah, much. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Have a great night. We are at the gym now. Uh, we got the pole kind of all lined up, set up. I tested it, not, not fully um, what we're going to do tomorrow, uh, but it's, it's going to be a good, hard, heavy pole. Uh, so, need to get some training in now. I was hoping uh, the, the way the day was going to go, I was going to do it back in Colorado before I left. That didn't happen. I just had too much other stuff to do. So now it's, um, I don't even know what time it is. It's a little bit later now. Uh, but still got to get the work in. So even though I feel a little bit tired um, from travel and everything else, it doesn't matter. Uh, I still have to put it in, still get it done. So um, we're going to get after it, uh, get a good session in here and have some fun. Do today. Just, just a little bit of fun, yeah, fun training. Yeah. It's not, not right if I don't lift right. something, you know? <laughs>
So, made it to the hotel room finally. It's been a long day of uh, travel and getting here, testing everything, getting the training session in, and then we were able to get some food, uh, which was much needed for sure. And um, now it's time to get some rest. So hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, watching the travel out here and, and uh, seeing what we got done today. And uh, we'll come at you again soon.